Yisrael Rosen was born in 1941 and died on November 2, 2017. He was an Orthodox Israeli rabbi. He founded the Office for Conversion to Judaism in the Chief Rabbinate of Israel and he was a judge there. He was also director of the Zomat Institute for the Interface of Halakha and Technology and the editor-in-chief of the annual journal Teshumin published by that institute. He edited the weekly newsletter Shagbat Shagbato and wrote a weekly column therein. He wrote commentaries about their rabbinic interpretations of Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. Rabbi Rosen was born in Tel Aviv, learned in Yeshivat Hayeshav Hihadash and in Kerem B. Yavne, and founded the Kollel in KBY. Afterward he studied electronics in Mukinlev and in Bar Ilan University. Rabbi Rosen lived in Alon Shevat and was married with five children. Rabbi Rosen was active in many areas. He helped implement technological innovations for halakhic observance at the Zomat Institute. These devices apply halakhic concepts to technological devices, mostly electronics, to enable using them within the rules of halakha. He also wrote and published articles on Tanakh. His positions tended to be conservative both politically and religiously. In April 2008, Rabbi Rosen was awarded the Lev Prize by Mukhan Lev for outstanding achievement in Torah and Amada. In November 2008, Rabbi Rosen won a libel lawsuit against Yated Neiman, Israel, after the rabbinic board of Yated Neiman instructed its editors to slander him. Yated Neiman falsely claimed that the rabbi provided halishic certification out of the desire for money. On the occasion of Pope Benedict XVI's 2009 pilgrimage to Israel, Rosen's far from endearing message to the Pope was that Jesus was a false messiah who deserved to die. But Catholics could be utilized to help Israel fight a war against fundamentalist Islam. In August 2017, Rabbi Rosen, who served as member of the Jewish Home Political Party Presidium, resigned from the party in protest of party's chairman Naftali Bennett employing lesbian spokesperson. Rabbi Rosen died in the early hours of November 2, 2017 at 76 years old.